I think Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes has a deeper connection to Caesar's Planet of the Apes trilogy that the movie never actually confirmed. And here's how. Spoilers for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. If you haven't seen the movie, I highly encourage you to go watch it in theaters, like this video, and come back. I genuinely think that the new protagonist, Noah, is a direct descendant of Caesar. Call me crazy, but it is my headcanon now that these two are actually related. And there's a lot of hints throughout Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes that kind of communicates to us, not just visually and thematically, but narratively, that they are related. Let's not stop there. My headcanon says Noah is a descendant of Caesar, Proximus Caesar is a descendant of Koba, and Raka is a descendant of Maurice. I actually thought throughout the movie numerous times they were gonna reveal that he was related to Caesar. But if Noah is not related to Caesar, I would still love the movie, I would still love him as a character, and I would be excited for the future of the Planet of the Apes movies. But don't get me wrong, if they reveal down the line that Noah is related to Caesar, I think that could make for a very compelling story and would make Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes even better upon rewatch. In the very opening, we see Caesar's funeral. And without saying anything, the intro lands on a shot of Caesar's son, Cornelius. For a very specific reason, I think it's because later down the line, we are gonna see where Caesar's lineage went right after Caesar and I think leading up to Noah. And then it cuts to many generations later. Generations is a very key word. Why use generations if it's not a generational story? If it's not a descendant? They could have said 300 years later. Many years later. They said many generations later. Come on! Apes together strong! There are many similarities between Noah and Caesar. I think that's why I really love Noah as a new protagonist because he reminded me so much of Caesar. He was a very clever ape amongst the rest of the apes in the movie and they made that a point for Proximus Caesar to continuously call him out on being a very clever ape. What a wonderful day! For Noah, this was his hero's journey, which kind of walked the same path as Caesar. He wanted to make his father proud, he remained a good ape because of his father, and he wanted to free his people, his clan, and bring them home. Exactly like Caesar. Not only is this just fun to think about as a huge fan of these contemporary Planet of the Apes movies, but it also hits the point home even harder with one of the main themes, which is history repeats itself. That could either be a good thing or a bad thing. What do you think? Do you think Noah or any of the other apes are direct descendants of the main characters from the original trilogy? Let me know in the comments.